is coming for you. Three, four, better lock your door. Five, six, grab your crucifix. This is the story of Wu Tang Lu versus Freddy Krueger. Now, in this particular night, it's Halloween, so Wu Tang Lu would sleep peacefully in her bed. Now, even though she was sleeping peacefully in her bed, that didn't stop her from having nightmares. So, because it's Halloween and she's having a nightmare in his dream, she wakes up standing right in front of Freddy Krueger's house. So, Wu Tang Lu figured, you know what, it's just a dream. So, she walks inside of Freddy Krueger's house. And she's confronted by the man himself, the nightmarish Freddy Krueger. But Wu Tang Lu wasn't scared because she knew martial arts. Wu Tang Lu and Freddy Krueger get into a heated battle. They're scuffling, they're locking it up. But Wu Tang Lu was coming out on top because one, she's in the dream world, and two, she know martial arts, and three, in the dream world, she can do anything she want to do and be anything she want to be. Wu Tang Lu is getting the best of Freddy Krueger. She takes him down, knocks him to the floor, chops his legs off, top chops his waist off. She's going in, she's going ham with her weapons. But after a while, she had enough. She's like, you know what, it's time for me to wake up. I'm not going to deal with this crap. Wu Tang Lu woke up out of her nightmare and she pulled Freddy Krueger's hat from the dream. And she's like, what the hell was I thinking about? What the hell was that dream about? What the hell was going on? And she got up, made herself a cup of coffee, and ate three tasty cakes. An angry Freddy was still in the dream world. He know that Wu Tang Lu got away. He says, I will get you one day. The end. Peace out, everybody. Thank you.